What you're going to see in the following clip is Sharon, who is a multifaceted entrepreneur. She owns a salon, owns a coaching company for salon owners, owns real estate. And what you're going to witness her is having a breakthrough after 30 minutes of going through the Up Level Mind coaching process, where she just gives herself permission to actually work and operate in her biggest joy and natural disposition which is not listening to the shoulds of like i should focus on this i should accelerate this business i i I should be you know more structured but actually in the flow of doing a lot wanting big things always being busy you can just see her ease up light up and, and really embrace the joy of like that is how she likes to do business and what you're going to see is is her aha moment after 30 minutes we had that conversation followed by uh, a little bit of a longer clip where i walk her through some questions on how we got to that thing that breakthrough so you can watch that longer clip or go through the full episode if you want to see the full up level mind coaching process in action no i think that it's, it's a, quite, a quite, quite a lovely way to finish up because um I feel like just in that one, I don't know, I guess this is why you're good at what you do, right? In that one little half hour or whatever we've gone here, hour almost, um, you nailed it. You nailed it. You went right to the hot button and and you got it. If you could summarize it then in your own words, like what is the biggest takeaway? What is the the biggest aha moment? Uh, That I was not giving myself permission to be my full self, which is a bit of a bit of a wild child in terms of reining things in. I like to go big and I don't, that shouldn't be a bad thing. None of these things I want are bad things. They're all good things. And so why can't I have it all? hundred percent. Yeah. And in the remaining part of this clip, you'll see one highlight from the full conversation with Sharon of how she got to the breakthrough that she got to. So if you want to listen to the full episode, you can certainly look it up or you can just watch the highlight of how we got to the big breakthrough following the up-level mind coaching process. Okay. So define better. What what would be the emotion? Because it was fear of missing out before. So it was like a fear kind of constriction emotion. What what does this feel like now? To like, I don't have to focus at all. That feels exciting. That feels okay. exciting to me. Yeah, that feels fun. That feels comfortable. That feels um, more like where I'm naturally wanting to hang out. Right in that busy. I I don't mind being busy, and my kids give me shit sometimes for it. Like, like mom, you don't have to be a hundred percent productive a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> Yep. But I, I like that. And they, they like it too, honestly. Like when I get them up and get them doing stuff, they don't want to be sloths on the couch either. They prefer it when they see a job well done. They see the fruits of their labor and they're both really hardworking kids, um, which I like. And that whole idea that working hard is negative. I, that doesn't resonate with me. I I like to work hard. I don't want to work like to kill myself. I still want to have a really good life too. Is that kind of more that work hard, play hard? Um, But I think that's why we started businesses and started fun kind of businesses. And we didn't resent working when everybody else was playing. We were part of the fun, you know, when we were at weddings, catering and stuff like that, or having people into our restaurant, we were, we got to be part of the, the fun and in the salon, it's a very fun environment. Um, So I've made my, my work play and um i want to be able to do that still with with the unstoppable stylist and figuring out what that looks like to me so i I think that's kind of at the crux of it it's it's not it's letting the narrative align with your natural disposition if you love to be busy and you get energized by the fact that you're spinning 10 plates then just because the narrative is no you should you know do self-care and you should focus and you should go all in on one thing if it's against your natural disposition you should actually do the opposite like you should allow yourself the unapologetic permission to be like 
no, this is where I thrive. I like this. This is how I find fulfillment. Let me go all in on spinning 10 different plates. And then when the time is right to get rid of one and replace it with another, I will do that. I love that. I really love that because yeah, I, I hadn't really, I was feeling like guilt or um, conflicted by by that, right? Because I'm like, Sharon, why can't you just focus? And you know, you start to see a lot online about ADHD right now. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> let me. <laughs> but um, I, I don't care if it's me, that it's just me. Right? So, yeah, it's, it's about harnessing yeah. that towards what it is that you actually want. And if you want to spin all those plates, you want to have three businesses you're running at the same time, as you authentically want, then do it right? Like then it's yeah. a matter of how do I maximize that as opposed to try to play a game that has nothing to do with who it is I fundamentally am. Yeah, I think that's, that's really great. Thank you for that.